Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here, and we are back with another Terminator Dark Fate Defiance video. Another 2v2 with the amazing Smiley Ghost, and once again, we're taking up the mantle of a legion, the base of the Terminators, and we are fighting against the founders, I believe. So, really cool. Now, this there was a bit of an issue. This happened in a couple of the last matches. ATGMs, I believe, just stopped working. <laughs> For some reason, ATGMs just didn't work. They worked in the first match of the night. So, it made it very difficult for both of us but i'd say more difficult for the founders players because they have more atgm based units in the reliance but i'm pretty sure it was this one as well so we'll see but i'm pretty sure atgms just stopped working which meant we had to kind of change our tactics up now it was actually quite good because atgms are so powerful in game they do minimize vehicles a bit or without them <laughs> certain vehicles become very tough on both sides so straight away, I start using these Wolfpack Scout units as well. They've become a bit of a favourite of mine, because obviously, you've seen the previous match, I used them to actually hunt down a high Mars and a supply truck, which is really fun. They're a nice little force unit to push in and engage targets, and they're quite cheap and quite quite fast as well. They can deal with light infantry. They're only a light scout unit. So infantry straight away is coming up to point B. So we chose to focus on the flanks over the centre straight away, which is a bit different for me. I normally go straight for the centre. But strong flanks and then closing on the centre when needed. And Smiley's straight on D, which is really good. And we get the Homoculi into point B, straight out the back. And the APC pulls back. And straight away, enemies are pouring pretty heavily on me. It's a little bit a little bit dicey. And there we go. Enemy, it's a Venus Snowman 1 3 striker. But we do have a, a anti tank rate weapons. Bang, one does hit, and it's on fire. And then we do start engaging those infantry out in the open, which is really good for us. And the Spider does start moving up. You start engaging those infantry. And there we go, the APC also starts peppering, which is nice. And reserve-wise, I start bringing in some heavy units. Um, I do bring some more AT gems, but then we notice the AT gems, I believe, aren't working again, which is pretty annoying. Down here, the scouts actually move on to C just to capture it. And we're having a nice contact up B. We do own it. We do have uh, we, own, we own the position. That's only on with a 50 cal, so I do try and move up and start engaging. Try and pepper it with some light rounds. As you can see, the ATGMs aren't working. There's no toes firing, nothing like that. We start loading some plasma and um, anti-armor units in. And there we go. Scouts then start moving up. I then try and flank with the scouts on these forces. Enemy heavy assault. And that vehicle is down. I believe it got shot by the anti-tank weapon in the infantry squad. And they're pushing very heavily on B, a lot of units, which is actually good, though, because it means there's less stuff on other areas. And suicide drones do get brought in, hopefully for a sneaky assault. We can really cause some chaos and do some damage to the founders' units. I believe, I believe we are playing against two founders' units, which is you know, beneficial, because they're not mixing and matching the forces. And those scouts then start coming in. So we do start trying to engage, try and get in there. And they're quite loud, like the scout units indeed. They're very light, actually. And they fire a bit, but as you can see, they can do quite a bit of damage on the units out in the open. And then we start to move them back. And basically go on to point A and try and be sneaky and put pressure on them early. And the infantry units there start pushing up to you know get on C. So I mean, B gets very dicey, but we have held uh, kind of. Suicide units then start coming around the side, and my idea is to basically push up and take out these uh, vehicles. It's really annoying every time you give an order, they stop and just go a bit stupid. And as you can see there, we're running forward. Oh, they don't make it quite. And we try and move again. But every time you give an order, they stop, which is stupid. It's the same vehicle, I'm just double-clicking. So that's very irritating. There's a lot of little irritating things on this that needs to be sorted. But we start basically locking the street down. They have B now, which is annoying. We have C and D, so we're doing okay. And Spider's now stacking up there. The Homoculi will get to the villains ready. We just need a bit of heavy fire support inbound, ready to engage the units. I think we both noticed at this point the ATGMs are basically out of action. So we go back to direct fire weaponry. And like here... My units just don't show up. Like what? Where are they? And then all of a sudden, duh, 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 they show up. And it's like Legion had a bit of a glitch in his coding there. Just didn't bring a force. So this mixed assault force comes up. The spider's there just waiting to um, to engage. And I bring a, I believe it's a supply truck ready. I think it's ready for the artillery to come, to be fair, as I always like to use artillery. I'm going to set it up at E anyway. But there's already a supply truck down there, I notice. That's for Smilers, I believe. And there we go. I'm mock like eye with the plasma trading rounds with the enemy there doing some good damage. And actually, the, the enemy's only got light vehicles up here, which is good. And there, the heavy plasma cannon starts smacking the building. And the spiders will start providing some support fire to deal with the infantry. 
and hopefully we can deal with the thing. As you can saw there, there was a little pop, and the AT gems just blow up as soon as they leave. They were just like fall apart in the day, which is weird. But something blows that up. I don't know what it was. Now I wonder if sometimes the AT gems don't work when they work, because it kind of looked like it'd been hit. But there's no AT gem trails or anything, so it's very, very strange to be fair. As you can see, the infantry are getting peppered. Their vehicles coming in, Terminator tanks the choice. And as their vehicles start to come in closer, the Homoculi will start firing anti-tank rounds, the heat rounds at the vehicles, I believe. It, once, once they're loaded in, that is. The Termi tanks will come up and start fighting these vehicles, for sure. And I actually bring another heavy weapons platform, even though I've not had much luck with them. Bring it to the centre, just for some fire support. And that one's actually been damaged, I believe. It's still Bradley's down there. And the spiders are peppering their infantry. And he's on fire, so they obviously have come up without any infantry support, which has you know, really hurt him. And once again, driver dead, and he's down for action. And the Termi tank's rolling forward now, and as he, as he keeps pushing forward, he's just going to start peppering them with rounds. Boom. Plasma rounds hit. And that smile actually flanked with like an APC, which was really good for him. He did a lot of damage to those Bradleys, which I massive respect. And I go for some more suicide drones. I do like the suicide drones lately, they're pretty fun. And the idea is to try and use them to clear the infantry out of the building so we can push back on B. And the enemy's taking heavy casualties, really heavy casualties actually. We've taken casualties, but so are they. And more Bradleys are getting hit, more infantry getting killed, Termi tanks rolling in, spies advancing. And this is where the enemy starts to take some losses on B, or some heavy, and more start to assault the position. And those spiders with the miniguns are really good at putting through the enemy forces, which I really like. It's good to have some good anti infantry for dealing with buildings and stuff. Could do with a flamethrower or something there, really. And yet yeah, we're slowly but surely grinding down the enemy. And that's a, another Bradley, I believe. Might be was it Abrams. I can tell you. There's the Abrams anyway. And obviously without the ATGM spiders are pretty light. The Mokulai are getting engaged. That one does take a bit, bit bad hit. But there we go, Termi tanks there and then he realises. And we're just waiting for the Abrams to come around the corner. And I think he backs off it. We're doing a little bit of, there we go, the spider gets nailed. He's pulling back. Coward! But we do have um, high explosive like, tank round launchers on some of these homoculi. Obviously as they go in, they'll be able to engage and kill, which is obviously the main the main job of the Terminator Hunter Killers. And there we go, in the center, it's kind of he heavily secured. B's where a lot of the actions happen. I don't know why they was focusing so much on B. It actually allowed Smiley to build up some really good attack force and he gave me some amazing support up here, which was fantastic. There we go, that's their first vehicle down the Bradley, and then the Abrams comes in very ballsy. I actually pop smoke, just try and collect the spider and give the tank a bit of a ability to run away. And the HK platform's just peppering them. And then we get hit by something else, but it doesn't really do much. I don't know if it's artillery. And more smoke. Obviously smoke's covering us. And the spider starts to pull back a bit. And the, the HK platform starts taking some rounds, but his engine's damaged, which is a shame. But Smiley's then flanking with the APC, and the artillery then decides to come in. We do decide to bring up some big guns ready to fire. But they lose a lot of salt in B, and they're putting a lot into it. And he's, and then I sent some spiders forward on there. I just think, right, we'll try and probe, see if we can get a lucky sneak behind their lines. I get some Rev 6s with the mini guns, because they'll be great for clearing out the infantry. And that Abrams is just sat there in the cover, which is fine with me. And this guy is pretty bad, the damage can't repair, so he's pretty much buggered. The Spiders do run into an Abrams, and obviously with no AT gem support, they ain't gonna last long. But then Smiley's vehicles start, I believe, start pumping heavy plasma kind of rounds in. So it is worth it, we do start scaring them off, we, just, we see what they have. And it's not a bad little probing force, we weren't using those Spiders much anyway. And we're just waiting for the enemy to basically see what they're up to. Mini guns are now advancing. Suicide drones will push up, and the idea is to try and get to those buildings and use the mini guns to just completely wipe them out. And the Termi tank and the spiders coming in for support. I do like Rev 6s with mini guns, the true Terminator units. Suicide drones are going forward now. <laughs> and then High Mars strike on the map, and I think, oh, where's that going to land? And then, oh no. And the High Mars have basically wiped out everything except the Termi tank, so we lost. The biggest loss there was the Rev 6s with the mini guns. It's unfortunate, but we're still keeping the pressure on. Uh, we've got no, not really any points left, so the Terminator tank starts to pull back. The Homoculi is still in the building, causing a bit of tr 
trouble holding on for a bit and we're doing okay really but we do i believe we move the supply truck up to the artillery piece there And once again, they're stacking more and more units on to B because they probably love that point. It's their favourite point by the looks of it, for sure. And more Rev 6s. I'm tempted, but I do need some infantry, some homoculi. They're quite expensive, but I do stack up quite a lot and bring some more APCs. I'm going quite infantry heavy on this one. I actually bring the wrong thing then. I want an APC. Look at some firepower. And there we go. Um, that on the platform gets taken, so I'm in a bit of dire straits there for vehicles. So now my idea is to reset my line, my defensive line up with the infantry, and get the Terminator tank restocked up, re ready for engagement. And there, the Terminator tank gets hit. I get a little bit annoyed. I'm like, for God's sake. But smoke does get popped, and then we start to pull it back. I believe he has lost. I think the hit didn't necessarily do major damage, but it was obviously not healthy for him. So I'm moving around my chair, you might hear it creaking. And we do start to repair the gun systems. Artillery is still peppering away. And the infantry is now on path to um, obviously come up and support the Terminator tank. The supply truck needs to be up there. Keep forgetting to do stuff like that. We drop the Mokulai out because obviously don't want anything to get sniped and lose them to silly things. And even though we've been pushed back on B, the enemy has paid a big price for how many troops it's killed of ours, how many vehicles. And it's definitely, you know, they've definitely given us the other areas of the map. The high bars are hard to counter until you get faster moving like VTOLs and stuff. And yeah, it's uh, it starts to quiet down for a little bit as we kind of both prep forces there, prepping for assaults, we're prepping. Artillery is firing at both ends. And there, some nice points coming to us. Start to lock, and then another tank's there. And there you go, another tank. And then we've got the Rev 6 Terminators come in. There we go, well, they're the ones with the plasma cut, plasma guns, heavy plasma machine guns, I believe. Or light plasma machine guns, I can tell you. Probably they are because they're pretty strong. And there we go, these uh, are Mark are engaging. And he's got Bradleys and Abrams and stuff there, and they start to pepper with artillery, and bang, that's a nice little shot. The thing is, these are, he's not got too much infantry support with them, which obviously makes them quite vulnerable. The Terminator tank goes to that position. And then this Terminator tank, now he's rearmed, gets pushed to the street for the Overwatch. Artillery piece is fairly safe there. They could pop forward, but it'd be risky for them. And there we go, the Abrams is hit. I think Tyler's unit, artillery or something, destroyed that. That may be ours, I think it's his though. I think he's got one as well. Yeah, he definitely does. And then the Terminator tank starts to push forward. Oh, excuse me. And there we go, rounds away. Bradley's just sitting there. We ain't going to be able to do much with the Terminator tank because no AT gems working. Don't know why, it's just a weird glitch. And then we start the assault on B. And then the Homoculi just slowly runs forward. I'm going to try and push through over sixes. There was a high, high mass strike. Completely obliterates my artillery piece. Absolutely annoying, but the artillery's done its job. But whilst they're doing that, we're advancing forward and we're taking the positions. We're doing damage, we're doing what we need to do. Legion advances ever forward. And then, we obviously see the enemy has not got too much on B, which is good. They lost a lot with the armour. And we've got a nice mix of infantry and armour now. It's not too overweighted. Tank can provide support. Legion units advancing forward, peppering with plasma. Get some good hits on, and then we start the assault. Infantry's going forward, they're armed pretty heavily. I think they're armed with, I think some are armed with plasma, some are armed with standard machine guns. There is a Humvee there, but the Rev 6s can also probably tear that apart with the plasma. Now that is a strike, I believe. We do have anti tank as well, though. And we start pushing forward. Tank starts moving up. Other oh, Termi tanks there, just watching the street in case of flanks. And that's a lot of troops there, and I'm like, holy crap, that's a lot of troops. And that's quite candy to us. We've got infantry there, we've got tanks. If those troops move into the open, they're going to take hits. But then once again, they're pumping so many resources in. There we go, bang, did miss, but into B. They're just sh shelling, well, yeah, showing everything they've got to try and retake it. That means artillery is going to be more useful, the splash damage of the weapons. Rev 6s are going to fight these infantry, which is pretty crazy. Revs should really demolish things in close range, they're really strong. We do start taking losses. 
But he's losing loads of infantry, loads of armor. They're losing infantry assault in the building. I believe they were just infantry squads, but still useful. They are hitting their own row sixes a bit there. And once you've um, you know, it does that assault turns pretty badly for them. And the artillery from Tyler there, smiley, it's just peppering them. I bring some more artillery to join the battle. Get it up there to just keep hitting them hard every second of the battle. And some Honda platforms with the 30 mil cannons, I just like it. Starts to come up to C. And the Abrams and stuff, I think they tried to do a probing attack. Excuse me. Through the center. Like a bit of a like, heavy probe. A bit of an assault, but it doesn't really work out. And they have recaptured B. Or oh, they keep it under control, but look at the losses. And then the Rev 6 Terminator starts spraying in. As you can see, the plasma will tear through and bang. Another explosion. And actually, get the Rev 6 to target. You have to, it helps you do time to target certain things. I'm just like, right, target them. And there you spray them out, doing some good damage. Turbo tank advances forward. Trying to engage the infantry. And I start to just slowly move my troops down the street and the other Terminator tank slightly moving forward. They're taking more losses by the second. And that Humvee's not going to last long either. And the 30 mil cannon one comes up here. And High Mars Strike comes in. It does wipe out the infantry in that building, but that's nothing major for me. It wasn't worth High Mars Strike. And we capture point B though. And there we go, he locks onto the Humvee, and whoop, I think he deletes it pretty much straight away. Yeah, he gets destroyed, just it disappear on the minimap. So now all three points are captured, centrally they only have point A left. They have lost a hell of a lot of stuff. They do have two Plasma Abrams there, which is obviously strong, but Smiley, I think that's on near C. Smiley's got a lot of stuff on C ready. We also have my stuff as well. And now they've lost B, they either have to do a major counter assault against, you know, Rev 6s, infantry and Termi tanks. Or... Because she's very good again. Terrible. The, or they can lock down on their objective and just try and defend and try and eke out a you know a bad defeat, but still they're on the board. But they're playing well. I think the main thing they I think once we both realised the ATGMs weren't working, they didn't change up the strategy enough. Too many founders players rely on the Bradley. The Bradley's good, but it's still only an APC. Still still hasn't got and the Abrams is good, but your infantry is your king. If you get infantry in buildings and infantry support, like the Legion, Rev 6s can be, even though they can be killed, if you get to use them right, they can be devastating, as shown. So down there, we've got the 30 mil. And my plan is to flank with a 30 mil um, hunter killer. I basically get behind the lines and take out any high miles or take out any artillery pieces. Now, you know, we know we've got enough to hold the line, most likely. Even if he pushes those Abrams forward, they probably won't be able to stop us. But we should be able to stop them no matter what. So we just need to um, be a little bit careful. Hmm. Trying to think what happened there. And yeah, artillery is not in range of A. I think I'll move it a bit forward. Yeah. That's a bad spot. And there we go, VTOL. And obviously, if you saw the other video, Smiley's also got VTOL, which is very effective, these VTOLs. I'm not so effective. I think but if they're on the move, they're effective. If you tell them to stand still, they're basically buggered. So you've got to keep them moving to be really effective. And to get your money's worth. But obviously, this is our favourite map. There's a lot of open terrain as well, so it's good for flanking, good for different maneuvers. That's another high mass strike, I believe. Don't know what it hits on this one. And there, I think it hits my artillery piece. I don't even realise, because at the time in the game, you just, you're so concentrating on things. I'm just waiting for this unit to move up. And I realised later on, I'm pretty sure I say to Smiley, hey, they took out my artillery piece, sons of guns. Now, I also realised if you disable the HE, he's got a low armor piercing is his go-to, which is good. And there's Smiley's Vito coming in like a howling banshee. Just woo! -hoo. <laughs> and obviously, you know, his Vito play is insane. And there you go, straight away hits a striker. It's a bit of a spawn thing, but obviously they have no defensive line. They're not giving us any pushback, so... And there... L Low Primus has left the game. Dishonorable. He left because he is a coward. He's not a coward, but you know, he's, he was getting smashed. And then the old 30 mil one moves up and starts spraying rounds. And my VTOL gets shot down because I didn't keep moving it. But he's done his job. 30 mil starts engaging. And basically, we're just going to keep putting the pressure on. And now I also start putting the pressure on from the other angles. And there's Smiley's VTOL coming in with my 30 mil uh, cannon. And we're just killing off what's left of the enemy. They don't really stand much of a chance. And that's the high Mars system. 
which is you know, that's the machine that's causing havoc for the Russians in Ukraine. A very low range, dangerous system, but vulnerable if caught. And the enemy does start to engage, doing some good damage to us. And we're basically smashed there. But Terminator tanks get sent forth to engage. A final assault by a legion. We don't need to keep our units alive, we just need to kill the enemy. That's the plan. And yeah, it's, it goes pretty well. Like, it's another good match. Me and Smiley did work well together. I think we have good strategies. We have different play styles, which kind of gel well. I'd say he's definitely got better VTOL play, 100%. We also built up really good defensive lines. My strategy relies on just Terminator tank spam. <laughs> I, I do. I would say I've got good Rev 6 gameplay. I'm starting to realise how powerful the Rev 6s are, if used correctly. It helps that the ATGMs weren't working in the match. That also made our Spiders not very effective. The Vito, once again, the Smiley's, I think that's him gone, but he's done the damage. And that's quite a big assault on sea, the enemy vehicles. But there is artillery, and there is obviously troops and stuff. But as they're assaulting this ter Terminator tanks and Rev 6s, they're descending from the northern flank, basically smashing the vehicles, smashing what they've got left. And there we go, the Abrams is down. And we'll just keep pushing forward. Rev 6s just push forward, engage. I believe Smiley's completely destroying that assault in the, in, on C because they have a lot of units ready to respond. But it's very, very effective. And there, another vehicle taken out. More infantry dying. This is glorious, with the highest calibre. C is still held, as you can see, that those units just got turned into a scrapyard by artillery and various other weapons. The Termi tanks are going to keep advancing and keep doing the job. And there we go. Very effective indeed. And there we go. Minigun Terminators. These are really cool. And some plasma as well. And I also bring in the 30 mil one uh, with 30 mil auto cannon just in case. But at this point, there's no way they're pulling this back. Obviously, he's lost a player. And he's taking a thing. And there we go. Rep in load left the game. And we carry on until the end. And we're like, well, we've gone this far. We're going to carry on and see what many kills we've got. There's only a couple of minutes left. But we do carry on destroying what's left of the founders. So just sit back and enjoy the carnage, really. The strategy is just push and kill and eliminate the enemy. Henceforth. Henceforth. That would. And there we go. That one does hit some mines, I believe, or something, which is unfortunate for it. Oh, phone just went. Ignore that. <laughs> Strange. And there. We're just kind of waiting to see what happens now. Slowly watch this stuff go forward. There we go, we're getting some good, you know, the, the end is near for them. Nothing left to watch for them to fight. But we will be victorious because we are legion and humanity's time is over. Now is the time of the machine. There we go, it's the last element, so the force has been destroyed. And A is almost done, I think they just have a couple of troops or something hiding at the back here. And there we go, they're getting smashed from all sides. There's not much left for them to be resist with. The Rev 6s are also pushing up. And there we go, that's the last point. That's it done. And there we go, and we killed 190 enemy infantry, 33 enemy vehicles, but they only lost 46 soldiers and 12 vehicles lost from my side of it. So they lost a lot more than us, we're talking quadruple the amount of troops and three times the amount of vehicles pretty much so massive losses for the human forces and a good victory for legion and the machines anyway i hope you enjoyed that definitely get yourself on the game if you enjoy it hopefully there'll be some more updates on new maps and we will see you on the next one thanks for watching everyone you guys have a fantastic evening